Hi, the reason Commander Free 4, and um, I'm not going to be doing the time lapse day for the same reason as the um, train station, although they were reviewing the Harry Potter set, the Great Hall itself. This set, when I first saw it be revealed, I was just like, this is just amazing. <laughs> so, yeah, I just had to have it. So, it's set number 75954. It has 878 parts, and it's very many for ages 9 through 14. And quite a few minifigures of this thing. There's just the ones that are physical minifigures. There's also the Basilisk and the Phoenix, if you want to count them, and also the Sword of Hats in there, I think. Although, yeah, so I'm going to get this thing opened, and then we are going to just review it straight up because I, again, don't have time. So let's just start now. Alright, now let's see what how many bags there are. There's at least six, probably more. Okay, there are six bags. There's a few base plates. And there's, okay, here's another base plate, and there's the manual with stickers, as expected. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to build this and get hopping straight into it. So, I am just going to zoom through all these minifigures because I do not have time in the video to just go through them all. So, yeah, there we go. That's Quirrell. Now, Dumbledore. Here we go, Albus. I think his actual face looks weird. I'm not going to show you most of their faces, so, yeah. Let's just go. Ron, you're next. If you want to know his alternate face looks like, just watch my review on the Hogwarts Express. It looks the same. There's Draco Malfoy. Hedwig, you're next. It's actually my second Hedwig. The first one I got from a poly bag back in like 2011-ish. I think it was like when Deathly Hallows was coming out. It's gonna go. Harry. Hermione. Here's Sir Nicholas. Jenny. Or no, not Jenny. Susan. Susan Bones. Sorry, I messed up on that one. Um, and then the last one here is Scabbers. Which is also in the Hours Express, but I didn't show you a view of him there. Okay, now I am going to just go on to the set real quick. Here's the boat that Leo claims doesn't float on the box, but it actually does float unless you have too many minifigures in it. And here's what I think is the Basilisk. It, it can bite and it can change its position. That's about it for, the, for this. I think it's the Basilisk, but it's way smaller than the Basilisk is in the actual movie and probably the book. I don't know. I haven't read any of the books other than the first one. Although. Yeah, so... Not sure, but I think this is the Basilisk, so, yeah. Okay, so, I actually just recorded this part. It was horribly wrong. I just realized I actually still have, like, ten minutes left of the video I can do, so I can make this as detailed as I want with this part. So, here's the Great Hall itself. You can fit in, um, obviously, you can put out, pull out the doors, and then you can make your minifigures walk in there. I'm not going to get any minifigures. I don't feel like going over to my closet and grabbing them. Here, you have some nice details of rocks, and you have this little suggestion of a bridge which is inaccurate to the movies, but whatever, you can make your boat dock there. I do have the dock at boat and basilisk with me, though. Um, so you can actually walk into that area there, and then we have also just how beautiful the set is. It's just amazing looking. It looks awesome. So, here we have a staircase. Um, I don't like this kind of staircase, mainly because... It messes up easily, like, it will go back that easily. Like, I know that's sort of the point, of the still, it just annoys me that it doesn't stay in place. You want it to. There's also a broom there. I think that's... Oh, wait, there's a weird yellow frog back there, actually, yeah. Speaking of that, there's some actually... I don't know if you, I can get to... Yeah, you can see them there. There's some statues on the sides. And there we have some potions. Nice potions. 
It's not Snape's class. I know it's not Snape's class. That's in a different set that connects to this one. Yeah. Speaking of that, here's the area where you connect them together. There's the little pins there. I don't have the other set, though, and I'm not planning on getting it. So, you see, there's the potion stuff. Then you have the spider up here. I don't know where that came from. The sorting hat, which I would give you a three of view, but it's not that interesting. Then we have some infinity stones, which you can actually take out. I'm just calling them infinity stones. They're actually not meant to be infinity stones, but they look like infinity stones. So Thanos is going to come for this great hole, I guess. That would make a cool scene in Infinity War, even though it wouldn't make any sense. Just imagine that Thanos broke into the great hall and stole this stuff in, like, Harry Potter and stuff. I had to fight him off his king. That sounds dumb. That, that, that sounds really dumb. Sorry, my battery just went really low. Okay, so... Here is the mirror, as you can see it, um, behind, you can actually take out the mirror, I just put that back there, but you are supposed to just put the phoenix back here, which broke apart, but yeah. Um, the mirror itself has four different options, you have this one of Harry Potter with his parents from earlier on in the movie, and then you have this one of Dumbledore with a couple socks, maybe he wants to give them to Dobby, I don't really know where that came from. Then you have this side. Starting with, there's Professor Quirrell with the Sorcerer's Stone, so probably, or Philosopher's Stone, I call it Sorcerer's Stone, that's what I've always known it as. Um, it's really shiny. Yeah, it's green glare. Okay, so, you can actually, there is one other thing, though, which, why doesn't Harry Potter have the stone in one of these, but whatever. And one that actually is in the movie, you don't see it, but it's in the movie, which is Ron with the Quidditch Cup, which he says he sees, so I'm just gonna believe that's where it came from. So, yeah. Then over here, Great Hall itself, yeah. You can actually fit minifigures on these or in front of these, which looks better in front. There's obviously also some some food, like cupcakes and there's some coffee and tea and ice cream and stuff. There's just some chicken back there. And back there is a fireplace. And over here, there's some chairs that you can fit in your professors. The set comes with four professors, but obviously Hagrid isn't counted here. So you can fit in Quirrell, Dumbledore, and... McGonagall, of course, you can't fit in the ones from other sets like Snape or Lupin or anything. Well, yeah, I have both of those. Um, I only reviewed one of the sets, though. So the other one is Hippo's set. Um, here is the... My brother's. Um, here is the... You also have the Hogwarts Cup, which is not even important after the first movie. I don't get why they even put that in at all. Why, why did J.K. Rowling write that in? I have no clue. Up here, we have some candles, which aren't that great, but they work. But they're just... They come off and, well, not off, but, like, they'll, like, mess up the way they're being held up from time to time, so, yeah. And then you have the two flags. Now, the two flags are quite interesting. You can actually turn them around and switch the house they're on. I just had, originally, my two favorite houses, Ravenclaw and Gryffindor, on, so now I switch it over to Slytherin and Hufflepuff. Of course, that's not really in continuity with the movie, or in the books, even, I don't think where they ha just have the one house that one on it, but here you have to have two houses, so whatever, let's just say, I don't know, let's just say they're having a dueling club in here, and it's whatever houses are dueling, we can do that. Now, this set looks awesome, though. Like, I saw this set originally, just like the Batman set I have, well, over there, but I'm not gonna grab it. Just like that one, this set, I'm just like, I have to have it, this set is beautiful, it's just amazing. I can use it for multiple things. Not only can I use it for this review, I can use it on just display it, obviously. I can... Oh, by the way, I, I think I forgot to put a part there. But I already threw the extra parts in my bin, so I have no clue who they are. Oh, there's also the suggestion of a clock or something there. But, yeah, like... This set is just beautiful. I can use it for not only this review and displaying it, but I can also use it for when I eventually make Harry Potter stop motions, which I just announced... A while back in my Spider-Man episode, instead of doing a, um, what's it, end credit scene, I just did one of those, and I also revealed the, and I can also use it in my Batman series, because I am planning on doing an episode, because I'm in No Man's Land right now, I'm gonna have the Batman break into Waymander and take it back, although, I have to, I needed Wayne Manor, because my custom Wayne Manor is not great, although, yeah. I also have plans for, okay, I was trying to say my Villains of Gotham series, not my main Batman series. Well, I might use it in this, but I can use it for Villains of Gotham because I need a, bat, a Wayne Manor. And the current Wayne Manor I've made myself, it's custom, is just awful. You've probably seen parts of it in my stop motions of that if you actually watch those. Like, just go look, you can see the inside of it, it's not great. But this, this I can work with, with that. 
Not only can I use it for Hogwarts in my Harry Potter stop motions I'm planning, although I can use it for that. So as you can see, this would this is this is the best possibility for it. Um, yeah. So strange as it is, I think that's all that we have time for. Um, I actually have time for more, but I don't. I think, although like I don't have anything else to show you in the sets, so. I think it was a mistake rushing through the minifigures like that, but it's a little late for that now. I don't want to go back and redo that. But yeah, guys, anyways, I'm going to have to guys. Bye, gooey.